Hi, beautiful ones. My intention with the Shamanjelic Healing Podcast is to be a platform that explores real life issues and provides you with valuable insights and practical tools to support you on your journey of healing core wounds and reclaiming your power and manifesting a thriving, impactful life that you absolutely love. You see, it's my dream to inspire millions to shine. So if you find these topics valuable, please take a moment and share the podcast and leave us a rave review. This helps the podcast grow and reach the people that would greatly benefit from these insights. Thank you so much for tuning in and investing in your personal development. I'm right here walking this journey with you. So let's dive into this episode. Greetings, love, and happy International Women's Day. I wanted to spend some time acknowledging the feminine that is rising right now. And this isn't just within women. This is not just about genders, men and women. This isn't a gender battle. This is about the feminine and masculine integrating within men and women so that the feminine qualities that have been for so long oppressed, ignored or overpowered or disrespected can be honored and awakened and rising so that we can create more harmony, wholeness and integration within ourselves, within our relationships, within what we create. And as we create the new paradigm together, bringing the feminine qualities of creativity and patience and sensitivity with strength, courage, and leadership, where the feminine and masculine create a sacred union rising together. This is what I really feel is happening right now is as these qualities about healing, patience, creativity, all of those kind of more feminine qualities are really needed right now to heal the wounds you know, that we have all experienced, men and women, both genders, all genders, is going to take those feminine qualities of compassion and understanding and patience and healing to help mend the wounds. And then that intuition of the feminine, the creativity of the feminine, to see the bigger picture, to help us create the new paradigm. Those qualities are going to help us, you know, step forward with more faith, with more awareness. And I love seeing these qualities within men and women awakening. And in my healing practice, it's so beautiful to see men being softer and more sensitive and listening to their intuition and, and honoring their emotions more. And also women softening because, you know, we have overcompensated and and kind of leaned into the masculine too much that hasn't allowed us to be sensitive and um, really honor our skills as women and our beauty, our power as women. And in this imbalance that we have experienced for thousands of years, it has caused great suffering for all of us. And so what excites me about this is this is the journey home as we integrate the feminine and masculine, as we evolve the unhealthy feminine and the unhealthy masculine, this is where, as men and women, our power really lies, is that sacred union between the feminine and masculine. And, uh, you know, we'll take that tenderness to forgive our past discretions, whether it was women, us giving our power away or not speaking our truth, or if it was men, you know, disrespecting or dishonoring. We've all been ignorant and... We've all made mistakes, and this is going to be about bringing compassion and understanding of the feminine, but also honesty and accountability of the masculine to say, okay, well, it doesn't have to stay this way just because it's been this way. Let's have compassion. Let's also be honest. Let's have the courage to look at the issues where there has been inequality, where there has been oppression, where there has been disrespect with with men or women, whether that has been women not respecting ourselves, because, you know, we've participated in this too. Now, now, if we split it apart into genders, we look at how many women were taught to not honor their voice. We were taught that our feelings don't matter or that our voice doesn't matter. And in believing that perpetuated that and so played small, kept our voice hidden from bringing it forward. 
And, you know, maybe there was reason for that. Maybe there was physical threat. Maybe there was social threat. And now we're learning to have the courage to say, wait a second, my voice does matter. My feelings do matter. And my body matters. My creativity matters. My ideas matter. And this is where we're seeing the rise of women entrepreneurship when there is a level of confidence to trust our intuition and our creativity and that spiritual guidance that's coming from a higher power to be in that place of faith where we can create and we can manifest from that co-creation with the universe, which is really bringing this power of women forward to, to trust themselves more and to also be more courageous and be more sensitive and be more creative and not hold ourselves back. This is what's exciting about not only today, International Women's Day, but every day, where can we really tap those qualities, men or women, where we can really tap that essence of passion and creativity and playfulness. All of these qualities are needed. We've oppressed them for so long. This is why workaholic has, you know, that work, work, push, push, strive, strive, overcompensate. We've lost our touch with our playfulness and joy and, and having fun as well. Or looking at a situation creatively and not trying to force, but allow an idea or allow better timing or allow a different way of creating it, perhaps than the mind or the ego had thought before. So I'm just so excited to see the feminine rising in, in men that have been really shut off emotionally or have, you know, really been shut off in their heart to see sensitivity rising, to see creativity rising, to see more men stepping into um, parenting roles and supporting a strong feminine. You know, an awakened man won't be threatened by a strong woman. A little boy will be threatened by a strong, empowered woman, but a conscious man will be inspired and support that. So it, it feels like there's this harmony that is possible right now with men and women to respect and honor our different skills and our different abilities and not be threatened by them, not oppress them, but to deeply respect that women have things to bring to the table and men have things to bring to the table. And our inner feminine has ideas and creativity and passion and playfulness <clears throat> to bring to the table. And so does our masculine have courage and strength and that honesty and accountability and integrity. And I feel like the win-win is knocking on the door of humanity right now when each of us individually does our inner work to heal the distortions of our own unhealthy feminine or any of our feminine that has been oppressed or silenced or contracted in some way as we courageously step forward and allow us to honor that intuition and, and honor our voice and honor our value and our worth and not seek outside of ourselves for external validation from men or other women, but actually evolve and grow that within so that there isn't so much codependency and accommodating because we can be breaking the shackles of those patterns. And this is a liberation. This is a freedom for men and women to be living a more thriving, integrated life. And I'm just lit up right now with the changes that I've been seeing, the evolution that I've been seeing when men and women are really looking within and making these shifts. And when women are, are you know, not playing small or hiding, but stepping into their power and honoring their voice and having the courage to listen to that intuition and create amazing things in life. And also say no, have the courage to say no to what is not in alignment, to have clearer boundaries and be more sovereign, not seeking that validation or that external approval. As we step in as women, sovereign individual, then we're not relying inappropriately on men or family or other women to kind of validate our worth when that comes within. This is true empowerment. This is true liberation. And then we, when we respect who we are as women, 
then we teach other people, other women, other sisters, and also other men how to treat us, where we no longer will be in a disrespectful relationship, business-wise or um, intimate-wise. And this starts to change the dynamic between men and women. It starts to change the power dynamic where there is naturally a lot more equality and a lot more respect. So we're in harmony with the qualities within our gender that differentiate us in a good way. And we can lean into those feminine qualities. I mean, look, women, we are here. We, we birth humanity. This is a power gift. Our womb is a very powerful tool. And our feminine intuition is given to us for a reason. And the way our brain works, the way our body works, the way our emotions work, help us to see the bigger picture of things. And we need that in the tribe. Just as the more masculine part of us and, and, and the men are more linear and more narrow focused. And sometimes we need that when we need to get something done or we need to be in the moment with a task or with an action um, and commitment and focus. And so what if we leaned into the strengths that each gender has? What if we leaned in to our sacred feminine and our sacred masculine and allowed them to get along? This this is the new paradigm, sisters. This is the new paradigm, brothers, where we are rising in collaboration to create a win-win. This is not just International Women's Day. And, and I'm so grateful to celebrate the powerful women that have paved the way so that women can vote and women can divorce and women can have children or not have children. And the, the women that have come before us that have helped pave the way for more women's rights and women's voices and and women's freedom. I'm so grateful and I celebrate every woman that has come before. And we are now in the driver's seat for how we're gonna do this going forward. And what I'm grateful to see is more and more men and women collaborating and really respecting what each is bringing to the table. So I'm just here to celebrate with you what is possible. The seeds right now that we are planting in the collective womb of possibilities for a new paradigm that we can birth together, women and men, a more conscious way of co-creating, living, loving, and really thriving, creating a humanity where we get along and where we honor each other's differences. And we also celebrate each other's strengths and we forgive our weaknesses. <laughs> and accept that it's okay. I don't have to have all the answers because I have a brother or sister that has that skill, even if I don't. And uh, so leaving the comparison, leaving the insecurities at the door so that we can celebrate and bring forward our power and our gifts. So anyway, thanks for joining me on this. If you're wanting more about balancing the feminine and masculine and awakening the conscious masculine and the conscious feminine. We'll give you um, a discount. We'll put a link in the in the notes below um, that uh, that you can get a discount on the feminine and masculine balance course. And um, and also for the sisters out there, I've really been inspired to create a whole course on awakening the sacred feminine, honoring the the healing of our womb and sacred sexuality. And so if you're interested in that, we'll have a link in the show notes or below so that you can also um, join me for this beautiful live series of Awakening the Sacred Feminine, which is for women only. And uh, that has just been so powerful. And I just, I want to celebrate you. I want to thank you. And you know what? We'll also have a free gift to balance a guided visualization for balancing the feminine and masculine within. Because I just want you to have the tools to help you with this internal integration, to help you rise the feminine within. So thank you, I appreciate you. And here is like profound respect and gratitude for the powerful, inspire women, inspiring women that are really laying the foundation for conscious change and for the men that are doing that as well. Thank you. I love you. Bless you.